Hello everyone, I am Shraddha from How to Electronics. You might have seen the 3D printers and CNC machines. They generally use stepper motor for movement and position control. Even you are thinking to make your own 3D printer or CNC machines, you will definitely need a couple of stepper motors. But controlling stepper motor with Arduino is tough as it requires a lot of processing power and control. Take an example. We are controlling a NEMA 17 stepper motor. The NEMA 17 motor is very large in size and it requires a lot of torque. To get that torque, we need a lot of power, normally voltage or current. Arduino is not capable enough for this operation, that is why we need some stepper motor drivers. So in this video, we will discuss about A4988 stepper driver module. The A4988 is very efficient and powerful integrated circuit that can drive a stepper motor with capacity of up to 35V and 2A. We will use this module with Arduino to drive NEMA 17 stepper motor. We will see the A4988 pins and its connection diagram with Arduino. Then, we will connect stepper motor to the circuit and using different Arduino codes, we will operate the motor for various position, speed and direction control. So without getting any delay, let's get started. The video is sponsored by Next PCB. Currently, Next PCB is offering only seven dollar for SMT prototype orders. The prototype includes one to five pieces with no any component limit, with free stencil and SMT Plus DIP service. To avail this offer, go to the SMT code section and fill the details like quantity, number of path through holes, extra testing. Select the country for shipment and click an order. Then you can upload your Gerber files, bill of materials and send droid files. That's it. To learn more about the PCB assembly capabilities, you can visit this section. One more thing, currently you can get 20% discount on all the PCB ordering services. This is the image of A4988 stepper motor driver module. The breakout board comes in two different colors as red or green. The chip is designed by Allegro Microsystem. The A4988 is a micro stepping driver for controlling bipolar stepper motors which has built in translator for easy operation. This means that we can control the stepper motor with just two pins from our controller. One for controlling the rotation direction and the other for controlling the steps. The chip looks small but it's very powerful. The size of chip is 0.8 inch by 0.6 inch. The A4988 stepper motor driver has output drive capacity of up to 35V and 2A and lets you control one bipolar stepper motor at up to 2A output current per coil like NEMA 17. The driver has built-in translator for easy operation. This reduces the number of control pins to just two. One for controlling the steps and other for controlling spinning directions. The driver offers five different steps resolution. Full step, half step, quarter step, eight step and sixteen step. The A4988 driver has total sixteen pins that interface it to the outside world. Let's familiarize ourselves with all the pins one by one. VMOT and ZND supplies power for the motor which can be 8V to 35V. VDD and ZND are used for driving the internal logic circuitry which can be 3V to 5.5V. Whereas the A4 driver allows micro stepping by allowing intermediate step locations. This is achieved by energizing the coils with intermediate current levels. The A4988 driver has three step size selector inputs MS1, MS2, MS3. By setting appropriate logic level to these pins, we can set the motors to one of the five step resolutions. For example, if all the pins are low, the resolution is full step, and if all of them are high, the resolution is 16th steps. The step input controls the micro steps of the motor. Each high pulse sent to this pin steps the motor by number of micro steps set by micro step selection pins. The faster the pulse is, the faster the motor will rotate. Similarly, the DIR input controls the spinning direction of the motor. Pulling it high drives the motor clockwise and pulling it low drives the motor counterclockwise. The A4988 has three different inputs for controlling its power states, that is, enable pin, reset pin, and slip pin. Enable pin is active low input. When pulled low, 
The A498 driver is enabled. By default, this pin is pulled low, so the driver is always enabled unless you pull it high. Reset is also an active low input. When pulled low, all step inputs are ignored until you pull it high. It also resets the driver by setting the internal translator to a predefined home state. Home state is basically the initial position from where the motor starts and it's different depending upon the micro step resolution. Slip pin is active low input, meaning pulling this pin low puts the driver in slip mode, minimizing the power consumption. You can invoke this especially when the motor is not in use to conserve power. The A498 motor driver's output channels are broken out to the A's of module with 1B, 1A, 2B and 2A pins. You can connect any bipolar stepper motor having voltage between 8V to 35V to these pins. The A498 chips requires a cooling system as well. Excessive power dissipation of A498 driver IC results in the rise of temperature that can go beyond the capacity of IC, probably damaging itself. For achieving more than 1 ampere per coil, a heat sink or other cooling method is required. The driver usually comes with a heat sink. It is advisable to install it before you use the driver. This is the NEMA 17 stepper motor. It's the most popular stepper motor available in the market. It has 6 pins. Out of the 6 pins, we only need 4 pins for controlling the motor. The 4 pins are marked as red, yellow, blue, and green color. The A9488 driver requires 2 power supply. So connect 12 volt power supply to VMOT pin and also connect 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor to it. Similarly, connect 5 volt supply to VDT pin. The VDT in requires capacitor too, so you can use 47 microfarad capacitor or more. After making this connection, you can connect stepper motor directly to 2A, 2B, 1A, and 1B pins and also short the slip and reset pin with each other. Now let's just control the A4980 driver with Arduino board. So I'm using Arduino Nano in my case. I used D2 and D3 pin to connect the direction and step pin. Before using the motor, there's a small adjustment that we need to make. We need to limit the maximum amount of current flowing through the stepper coils and prevent it from exceeding the motor's rated current. There's a small trimmer potentiometer on A4980 driver that can be used to set the current limit. To make this adjustment, there are two methods. In the first method, we are going to set the current limit by measuring the voltage V reference on the reference point. Put the driver into full step mode by leaving the three micro step selection pins disconnected. Then, hold the motor at a fixed position by not clocking the step input. Measure the voltage V reference on the metal trimmer pot itself while you adjust it. Adjust the V reference voltage using the formula. Current limit equals to V reference multiplied by 2.5. For example, if your motor is rated for 350 mA, you will adjust the reference voltage to 0.14V. In second method, we are going to set the current limit by measuring the current running through the coil. Put the driver into full step mode by leaving the three micro step selection pins disconnected. Hold the motor at a fixed position by not clocking the step input. Do not leave the step input floating connected to logic power supply. Place the ammeter in service with one of the coils on your stepper motor and measure the actual current flowing. Take a small screwdriver and adjust the current limit potentiometer until you reach rated current. Let's see first code now. This is a simple sketch used for rotating the motor in one direction. Copy this code and upload to the Arduino board. Once the code is uploaded, the motor will start rotating in clockwise direction. This is another example. In this example, we will rotate the motor in both directions, that is, clockwise and anticlockwise. After uploading the code, the motor will rotate first in clockwise direction and then in anticlockwise direction. Here is the third example using a stepper motor library. You can get this library from Library Manager. Using this library, you can simply control the speed and position of stepper motor. Once you upload the code, the motor will show three different type of motion like slow, fast and reversed.
Now let's just see the first example. In this example, we will control the motor acceleration and deacceleration. The motor will be accelerated and deaccelerated one after another. Now let's just connect a potentiometer to the circuit. And on the basis of potentiometer position or analog values, we will control the position and speed of the motor. So we used analog mapping function here. Once the code is uploaded, you can try adjusting the speed now. For that, rotate the knob of the potentiometer. The motor speed can be increased or decreased. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.